today I have four different watches, a mechanical, automatic, quartz or battery powered, and then a mixture which we'll get to later. So for a mechanical watch, you have to turn the crown and that's what gives it power to the main spring there. And then it goes to this game and balance wheel and then the other gears. If this sits for a while, of course it will die because you haven't wound it. For this automatic, it is based on your movement of your hands. You can wind it with the crown if you choose so. And if it sits for a while without you wearing it or winding it, it will die. And then a quartz powered watch or battery powered so it'll go until the battery dies no matter how long you have it sitting and then this one is interesting because it's a mixture of both an automatic and a quartz powered so if you have this sitting the mechanical part you see there will stop the function but the hour and minute hand will continue to move so you won't have to reset the time like for example if these two watches I haven't wound it or worn it in a long time I will have to take out the crown and adjust the time but this one I won't this is automatic because if this is dead you don't have to pull out the crown to wind it like this watch we just put on your wrist give it a flick it will spin the disc in the back winding the spring there so the mechanical part only is the second hand they're not connected it's just for look interesting because you can see the movement here but then again if you don't if you have it sitting you don't have to keep pulling out the crown and adjust the dates time hours so these are the differences between a mechanical automatic quartz or battery powered and then this mixture one thanks for watching